In today's video, we're going to talk about option selects. I'm going to teach you what they are, why they're useful, and I'm going to demonstrate a variety of option selects that you can use to take your game to the next level. By the end of this video, and with a little bit of practice, you will be able to play like the pros. If you have any questions, I stream live on Twitch, so feel free to come and chat. The link is in the description. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. What is an option select? An option select is a series of inputs that can cover multiple options. One of the most commonly used option selects is the delayed throw tech. When a player uses a delayed throw tech, they execute a series of inputs, block and then throw, which protects the player from multiple options, attacks and throws. Meaty option selects. A meaty attack is an attack that is performed on a player who is waking up after a knockdown. If a player is hit by an attack, they are put into hit stun. If a player blocks an attack, they are put into block stun. Notice that both hit and block stun cause a brief animation. When you perform a meaty attack, you can quickly input movements or attacks around the same time that these stun animations occur. If your attack hits or is blocked, your quick inputs will not come out. However, if the opponent tries to escape your pressure with a slow invincible move, such as a teleport, there will be no hit or block stun animation, so your quick input will come out instead. In this example, Ryu is performing an option select forward dash on Dal Sim's wake up. Ryu uses standing medium punch as his meaty attack. If Dal Sim is hit by Ryu's medium punch, Ryu will hit confirm into a combo. If Dalsim blocks Ryu's medium punch, Ryu will end his pressure with a second medium punch. And if Dalsim uses his wake up invincible teleport, Ryu will dash automatically after his first medium punch whiffs, allowing him to punish Dalsim's teleport recovery. In this example, Balrog is using an option select crouching hard kick in his block string. Balrog uses crouching medium punch as his meaty attack. If Vega uses his invincible flip, Balrog's crouching hard kick will come out automatically. Option select block. Ed, Falk and Yorian have invincible EX attacks that they can use on wake up. However, these attacks have quite slow start up before they hit. Because of this, most characters can use a meaty light attack to safely pressure them on wake up. In this example, Ken is using an option select with a blocking input. He uses a block string of standing light punch into standing light kick while holding back. If Yorian uses his invincible EX headbutt on wake up, Ken will block after his standing light punch and will be able to punish Yorian. If Yorian doesn't use his headbutt, Ken's standing light kick will come out instead. Option selects for V-reversals. When a V-reversal is used, the screen freezes for a short moment. You can input movements or attacks during your pressure strings, which will only come out if the screen freezes because of a V-reversal. Most characters can use an option select throw to beat striking V-reversals. This involves inputting a throw command after the second attack in your block string. It is best to use a block string that starts with a light attack. In this example, Sagat uses standing light punch into standing medium punch as a block string to pressure M. Bison. Sagat inputs a throw after his standing medium punch this throw will only come out if M. Bison uses a V-reversal on Sagat's standing light punch. Some characters can use a parry option select to punish V-reversals. This can grant significantly more damage than an option select throw. Sorry, no. 
In this example, Gil uses two standing medium punches as a block string. He inputs a parry after the second medium punch. This parry will only come out if G uses a V reversal. Not all V reversals are striking attacks. You can use option selects to punish evasive V reversals as well. In this example, Chun Li uses an option select with her EX Lightning legs. She uses a standing medium punch, crouching medium kick block string, and inputs EX Lightning legs in the opposite direction after crouching medium kick. If Fang uses his side switching V reversal, Chun Li's EX Lightning legs will come out instead of her crouching medium kick. Why are they important? Option selects are powerful because they reduce the amount of guessing a player has to make by countering multiple outcomes automatically. Some option selects can be used by all characters, and some can only be used by or against certain characters. You have to build your knowledge of where they can be used if you want to take your game to the next level. Option selects require a lot of practice to perfect, as you have to time your inputs to make sure they register correctly. Timing can be different with each character, so make sure you experiment with your own. By adding option selects to your game, you will improve both your defensive and offensive capabilities while limiting your opponent's options. So, do you understand option selects? Can you play like the pros? Let me know in the comments below and also tell me if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. Thanks for watching.